Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. This is your first time. Welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Well, we're getting ready. Been behind the scenes prepping this area. There was a bunch of pine trees. You can see the what's left of the pine trees in the uh, goat area. They've pretty well cleaned it up. Stripped the bark off it completely. This area is going to end up being where we store our camper. We're also going to be building a barn here. Agricultural standards in Virginia or agricultural building code says that if we're housing equipment or animals, we don't need a permit. Well, we need a place to put the camper and we could use something a little better than that old shed that's rotting away for storing the animals. So we're gonna be doing a combination barn slash RV shelter. Before we get to that though, we got a couple challenges ahead of us. Over here, if you can see, we got, let's see here, this tree here comes out and comes all the way over past the fence even. I mean, it's way up there. It's hard to film. Let's see if I can do it like this. There we go. So that branch there comes all the way over and I don't know if you can tell, but it is pretty well even with the fence over there. That is an oak. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, well, Right beside it's a maple. We're going to limb the maple up and then we're going to try to take off a couple of the lower branches on the oak. And then we're going to try by taking the lower branches off, I'm hoping it shifts the weight so that it falls away from the fence and not into the fence. On top of that, the next big challenge is right here. Our plans have changed. If I had known at the time that I was going to be taking this tulip tree down, I would have got ahead of it and taken it down before we put buildings in here. We didn't, so we're going to be challenged with taking that tree down. Now, on top of all of that, technically this oak over here is on our neighbor's property. We have permission to take it down, and while we're taking it down, we're also going to be addressing another tree, a lightning strike over here, and this one truly terrifies me. If you look right here where this dead tree is, well, the top is completely gone out of this tree here. That is a gumball tree. That is a lightning strike. That is about a year and a half, two years old. So that tree really does scare the piss out of me. Taking down a live tree is hard enough. Taking down a tree that has been dead for a couple of years, that's a whole different challenge. We're going to address that at a later time because, well, there's a good possibility it's gonna rain before I get all this work done. Because to start off, we need to finish cleaning up this area. I need to get my implements out, salvage what I can, then I'm gonna move the ATV and the tractor out of the way before we start lopping stuff off that tree. So I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to go ahead and try it. We're going to use my uh, DeWalt pole saw and see if we can limb this up a little, taking the weight and moving it to a different portion of the tree. So before I get the chainsaw out, I just wanted to show you my setup. We're going to be using our 88 Suzuki Samurai with our 5,000 pound ATV winch to pull this tree down. Now what I've done is I've got a direct line pull to a much heavier cable right here. I know, that's a horrible length. But from here, we travel down into the woods a little bit and we're on a snatch block. So directly from the Suzuki down to the snatch block and then we're going on the snatch block up to another snatch block in the tree. I would like to double line pull, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. 
and then from that snatch block we're going down to this tree I ended up having to use a, an actual strap on because well the tree was too big for any of my tree savers this one was almost too big
so this log is going to end up being a saw log. And just for a reference, we got 24 inches and 23 and a half at the big end. It's eight foot, eight inches long. Narrow end is 18 by 21. And that's everything this tractor can do to lift it. In fact, using the loader arms, it can't lift it. So what I end up doing is tilting it and then using, basically using the tilt function to lift it up enough so that I can move it. Well, we got the tree down. Things went very well with that. We got everything cleaned up for the most part. We still have a pile of brush over here. We'll chip that at a later time. We're not gonna do it right now because, well, it's raining. The camera's in the shed underneath the overhang. Next, it's gonna be this jumbo tulip tree to my right. It's leaning ever so precariously towards the garage and the goat barn and all that stuff. That's gonna be a challenging one to do. Hopefully I can do it without damaging anything. And if not, well, as long as I don't kill any of the animals, we'll be good. Maybe next weekend I'll have time to tackle this. We'll see, because that's really a full day job. In the meantime, I got a bunch of wood I gotta split in my evenings and whatnot. So, other than that, hope you enjoyed this video. I was hoping to get more accomplished, but yeah, well, time, time moves on. So those that have subscribed, thank you. Those that are thinking about subscribing, do it. Leave a comment. I know I did some stuff wrong, but I did it as safely as I could when I was doing it wrong. So thanks for watching. You'll see me in the next one. Bye.